Look in that drawer. You know the one. It's the junk drawer. It holds forgotten treasures and tangled messes. Inside, there is probably an old phone. Maybe there are two. A charger that fits nothing you own anymore sits beside them. This small pile of plastic and metal feels harmless. It is out of sight. It is out of mind. But this is electronic waste. We call it e-waste. And it's a very big problem hiding in a very small space. These devices are more than just old technology. They are a collection of valuable materials and dangerous toxins, all wrapped up in a sleek case. E-waste is everything with a plug or a battery. It's your old laptop. It's that cracked tablet. It's the television with the fuzzy screen. It's even the electric toothbrush that stopped buzzing. We love our gadgets. So, where does your old laptop go when you toss it? Its journey is often long and complicated, and it is usually not a happy one. Most of our e-waste does not end up where it should. We think we are doing the right thing by putting it in a recycling bin. But the reality is much darker. A huge portion of this waste is packed into shipping containers. It is sent on a long voyage across the ocean. It travels thousands of miles. It lands in countries in Africa. It lands in countries in Asia. These places become the world's digital dumping grounds, a final resting place for our discarded technology. In these places, the rules are different. Or worse, there are no rules at all. There are no high-tech facilities to safely dismantle a computer. There are no machines to carefully separate the valuable metals from the toxic plastics. Instead, there are fields of electronic junk. Giant piles of keyboards, monitors, circuit boards stretch as far as the eye can see. This is not the clean green recycling we imagine. The toxic chemicals released from e-waste do not just disappear. They create a trail of harm that affects both people and nature. The workers in these informal scrapyards are on the front lines. They breathe in the polluted air every day. The lead they are exposed to can damage the brain. It can damage the nervous system. The mercury can harm the kidneys. It can cause developmental problems. These are not abstract risks. These are real health crises happening to real people. Headaches, breathing problems, skin rashes, long-term exposure leads to cancer, organ damage, devastating illnesses. This harm extends beyond the workers. It seeps into the entire community. The toxic dust from burning and dismantling devices settles on homes. It settles on food. It settles in playgrounds. Children are especially vulnerable. Their bodies are still developing. They absorb these poisons more easily. They play in the contaminated soil. They drink the polluted water. Families who have lived on this land for generations now find their environment is poisoning them. Poisons contaminate the soil. The crops that do grow absorb these toxins. When people or animals eat them, the poison moves up the food chain. Rivers become a chemical soup. Ecosystems collapse. Pollution travels to the ocean. The good news is that you have power. Uh, you can help stop this toxic trail. The solution starts with simple, conscious choices. First, do not throw your old electronics in the trash. Ever. That is the single most important rule. Instead, find a certified e-waste recycler. These programs follow strict rules to protect workers and the environment. They do not ship waste overseas. They safely dismantle devices locally. Many electronics stores offer free drop-off programs. Best Buy Drop-Off. Staples Drop-Off. Your town or city hall often hosts special collection days. Search certified e-waste recycling near me. Before you recycle, think about reuse. Is the device truly at the end of its life? If it still works, give it a second chance. Erase your personal data first. A factory reset is usually easy to do. Then you can donate it. A local school, a community center, a domestic violence shelter. Give it to a friend or family member. Extending a device's life is the most eco-friendly option. It saves the energy and resources needed to make a new one. It keeps a perfectly good item out of the waste stream. Next, embrace repair. Often a simple fix is all that is needed. The scale of the e-waste problem can feel overwhelming. Millions of tons of discarded gadgets create a global challenge. It is a system that seems too big to change. But change does not start with massive, sweeping actions. It starts with small, individual ones. It starts with you. 
it starts in your home. It starts with that one drawer. Today, only about 20% of all e-waste is properly recycled. That number is far too low. It means that the vast majority of our old electronics are ending up in the wrong places, causing unnecessary harm. We have the power to change that number, one device at a time. Think about the collective impact of our small actions. If you find one old phone and take it to a responsible recycler, that is one less device in a landfill. It is one less device shipped overseas to be burned in an open fire. Now, imagine if your neighbor does the same and your friends, and their families. Suddenly, millions of us are redirecting this waste stream. We are turning a flow of toxic trash into a flow of valuable resources. We are saving precious metals. We are preventing pollution. We are protecting the health of communities thousands of miles away. It will take effort from companies and governments, but it begins with us. Our actions create the demand for change. When we show that we care about where our old gadgets go, we push companies to create better take-back programs. We push our leaders to build better recycling infrastructure for everyone. So here is your mission. Do not wait for tomorrow. Do not wait until you have a big box of things to recycle. Start with one thing, today. After you finish reading this, go to that drawer. Find one old phone, one old charger, or one set of dead batteries. Make a plan to drop it off at a certified recycling point this week. Put it by your door right now so you do not forget. This simple, concrete action is the first step. It is how we begin to clean up our mess and build a healthier, safer, and more just world for everyone. Your drawer holds more than just junk. It holds an opportunity. Um, so yeah, we really need to act.